Hi guys, I've got a really important word to share with you that I just got there on the 21st of April 2022. Um, so basically what happened was I was out by the river and I was sitting in my car and I was just, you know, just enjoying God's presence and the peace and the beauty of the river and there was like, it was kind of unusual anyway when I arrived by the river because the clouds were just kind of, I don't know, it was like, I don't know, it was like, the clouds were kind of stretched out, kind of like, it was like felt like it was welcoming me. That's what it felt like initially when I, when, when I was there. I just thought, wow, these clouds are just so unusual looking, right? <clears throat> so I sat in my car and I was... Then I just started to pray in tongues, right? And then the Lord began to give me a revelation as I was looking at the sky and how it was transforming in front of me, right? This is what happened. And the thing is about this is there was so, a few years ago, the Lord told me that he was going to start speaking to me through the clouds. He actually told me that in my dream, that he was going to speak to me through the clouds. He really did. And I used to, and that I became very sensitive to look at the clouds to see if God was giving me any messages. And he's given me one or two messages through the clouds. I know that sounds strange, but he really did do this. Right. So anyway. I have to set this as a background for the word that I'm going to give you that the Lord gave to me because it's a very powerful, profound word. Um, and but this is how it manifested to me from my car watching the sky and I was literally God speaking to me as I was seeing these clouds in the sky right this is what happened it's profound so if at first I was praying in the spirit I was praying in tongues and this is what I heard heard or this is what the interpretation was can you hear the rumbling from a far off land it comes as a sandstorm it comes as a blight it comes as a storm. I see smoke from afar bellowing upwards. So I was seeing this visually. <clears throat> I see its tank fire, white smoke, like clouds forming. It's a huge tank that is rolling over the land. It is taking the land by storm to crush the people, to crush the nations. It's the tank of Putin that is in his mind to crush the nations. That's the tank of war. It's coming. It's what I'm seeing. I see the smoke clouds rising before it. The smoke clouds will be seen before the tanks. It rises before it, a destructive weapon. This is on a scale that has never been seen before. There's no return, no going back. He is moving forward with his allies. There's so many of them, they fill the skies. So I'm in the car by the river and I'm watching these puffy clouds in front of me, but it's like they're all on the same trajectory and they're all moving in the same direction. The Lord is showing me this is Putin and his allies, how they will be moving forward and filling the nations like the way I was seeing these multitudes of clouds just passing all in the same um, tra trajectory, right? Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so with one mission, with one fo focus and with stark determination to capture the nations. They have it planned and schemed. I am feeling this so strong right now. These corrupt leaders, they are out for power, for pieces of the map. They have already determined what piece is going to be theirs. They have already made their alliances. They have already done it. I am seeing it now. This movement that is moving now is absolutely going to increase in size. So this war, this war is going to increase in size. 
in capacity is going to greatly increase. I see so many allies, not one or two. They are all moving in tandem. Many allies. A perfect word to describe it is moving in tandem, right? It is to take the nations, to take the nations. They are going to take the nations. There is a multitude of them. I'm telling you, I'm getting this revelation right now as I'm speaking to you. There is multitudes of them. There is so many of these clouds right now. They are representing the allies, the leaders, the nations. Some of them are just powerful leaders who are going to jump on the bandwagon because they are going to be given certain territory. Putin has amassed like a huge, vast number of allies to join with him. Amassing this army to move forward to take the nations, I'm telling you. This is so serious. This is on a huge scale. This is a mass scale, a mass takeover. This is vastly more than World War III. This is World War III, but it's like crazy off the charts, what I'm seeing right now. This is a huge scale takeover, massive. So many nations will be involved in this. It is so big. They're taking over nations. They're taking over the world. They are sweeping over Europe. They are taking nations over Europe. They are taking out the USA. They are taking out all the nations because they are amassing power for themselves. They are already in cahoots. They have been making alliance with Putin behind the scenes. It is a mass takeover. My goodness. Now, I was praying in tongues. I was getting interpretation of tongues. And this is what I was seeing. And I was recording this, okay, because I knew the Lord was showing me stuff so I began to record it okay so all of this has been recorded <clears throat> and then it changes slightly on the same subject okay SOS SOS the planes are coming in the planes are coming in can you see the black fighter fighter jets with their red crosses or markings beige jets with red crosses on the wings can you see the fighter jets coming in they fill the sky. They fill the skies. Japanese are coming. They are coming for you. Merciless. Now, when I felt this, um, the Japanese are coming, I felt the Japanese are coming into Europe specifically. That's what I was feeling, okay? Japanese are coming into Europe, right? Um, okay. They are coming for you. Merciless. Dropping their bombs in lines across the fields. Bombers, they are bombers filling the skies and dropping their bombs. SOS, they are coming. Can you hear the noise in the distance? And I knew it was going to be a very distinct, shrill type of noise. Some of them are dropping their quiet bombs. These are the big bombs, the dangerous bombs. They will take out much larger, larger territories. <clears throat> I see the planes and they are dropping the big bombs. It's a quieter sound. And I, it's like I could hear going, you know, it was just like quieter. They are coming, they are coming. Be not in doubt anymore, they are coming. They have their satellite radars on you. They are watching you. They know, they know, they know, they know. Their appointed time is coming. They see you from space. They see you from space. They watch their targets from space. Make no doubt about it. They are watching. I see their satellites and they have their radar on you. Get ready. They're coming. They're coming. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. I am hearing ground bases. I am hearing land bases. Their submarines, their floating tanks are coming, their ships. So many, many of them, so many of them are coming. The air front is first. The air front is first to take you by surprise. So, surprise attack. And then the ships are behind them for landfall. I am seeing this in the clouds. Can you believe it? Uh, now I am seeing these boats. 
the clouds look like boats so that's what I was seeing I was seeing the clouds turn into these boats these long big boats that were coming in like that. so that was my it wasn't like a vision but it was like an interpretation of what God was showing me right and then at this point I, I sense God's peace just comes over me just sweeps over me after the after seeing all this right so I say here I feel God's peace right now I feel his peace my peace I give you not as the world gives you I give you my peace I give you my presence, not as the world gives you, supernatural presence and peace. I am the lion of the tribe of Judah. Fear not my people, my beloved, fear not. I feel the wonderful presence and peace of the Lord right now. As the bombs come down, I give you my supernatural peace and my presence. Do not fear, says the Lord, I am with you. I call you by my name, for I knew you. I knew you in your mother's womb, says the Lord. Be comforted in this, says God. I knew you even before you were born, for I formed you in your mother's womb. I am that I am, your saviour, your God, your keeper, your shade at your right hand. Be not moved, be not afraid. Do not fear, I am the great shepherd of my sheep. I am the great shepherd of my sheepfold. I will bring my sheep into the fold. I will gather them in. I will gather them safely in the pen where they are kept safe and secure, says the Lord. I gather my sheep. I gather my sheep at this time and I secure them in the pen. They shall be safe and secure, saith thy God. There is no power on the earth greater than my power. There is no strength on the earth greater than my strength, says your God. I hear activation right wing. I am still feeling God's peace. This is a world takeover. It is a worldwide takeover, but the Lord will have his way. For I create a new heaven and a new earth. Where no sin dwells, says the Lord, for I will contend with all nations. I will contend with this world because of its sin. It damages the earth. It damages my creation. It does injury to my laws. Yes, I will contend with the nations. I will bring them down. I will confront them. I will deal with them, says the Lord. Shall they be able to deal with me? the Holy One of Israel, the Holy One whom they mocked, I will contend with the masses. These are also hordes of, oh yeah, sorry. There, okay, there are also hordes of demons running on the earth. Now I was seeing this in a kind of like, um, I was just seeing it visually, right? So I was seeing these hordes of demons just running across the earth. And some of them even like had, um, um, capes on them I could see the capes kind of flying up behind them um, and they're all black all of them were black right so I see them as hordes of demons and I see them running it is a it is this is a natural and a spiritual warfare these demons have been released they have power and they are racing across the earth it is like they have been given permission so uh, they are taking advantage of it very speedily and quickly because they don't know any self-discipline or order. They are chaotic. They are running because they are taking over. They are pleased to have this permission, so to speak, to bring along this chaos. These demons, I believe, are behind this war to come and bring destruction on the earth. That is what I am seeing and sensing. They are coming to a dead end because they will be confronted by God himself. They will be smitten by the Lord with the sword of his mouth. The demons could never go against Jesus Christ because of his spiritual authority. He has authority over the natural and spiritual realm. All the armies of the earth are subject to Jesus' authority, but Jesus is going to stand and contend with these armies that amass against him. He will contend with them 
before the final closing of this age. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is going to happen. This will be in Israel because God is the Holy One of Israel. That is where he established his name. That is where he established himself. So this is where he will contend with the nations. It, it will be in Israel. So that is the powerful words and visions that God was showing me um, just there on the 21st of April, just very just very recently, just the other night. So, um, yeah, I thought that was really powerful. I, I really got full revelation and I really began to understand about Armageddon, like all the nations coming, you know, as well. I mean, I had that full picture. I was thinking of that picture of Armageddon really as well, you know, when I was seeing this, but um, quite astonishing. So um, if you want to give me any comments or feedback, please feel free. I want to say something else to you because I keep forgetting to say this. Um, I have also got a blog, Caroline Diadem blog, that I've put some of my really important prophecies on there. So please go and have a look. You know, if you don't want to put a comment, just put a like or just say hi. So it would just be nice to see, you know, see you guys just um, having a look on there. Um, yeah, so so that's my blog. So so jump on there. I don't know how often I'll be putting um my transcripts up there, but I will be putting transcripts from time to time. OK, so maybe just keep a keep an eye open for it. OK, so God bless you all. Have a great day and I'll speak to you very soon. God bless. Bye.